want to know more about light? So do I. I've got two friends who can help us. Shall we call them? Do you want to introduce yourself, guys? Yeah, so um, my name's Abigail Patterson and um, I'm a biologist um, in particular. I mean, I love all of biology, but I really love plants um, and I have studied it at university um, and I've also worked for a charity called Christians in Science for the past year um, that looks about looks at how we can be Christians and scientists and supports Christian scientists in the workplace. Um, and I'm actually really excited to um, be starting a new career as a biology teacher um, very soon. And hi, I'm Matt. Uh, I'm uh, Abigail's husband and I'm studying physics. So I'm doing a PhD in atmospheric physics. I study jet, stream, which, jet streams, which are fast flowing currents of air high up in the atmosphere. So um, as they sort of wiggle and move north and south, they determine a lot of the weather that we experience. Um, so I enjoy the fact that um, I can see the effects of, uh, of what I study um, on people through weather. How important is light in making life on Earth possible? Yeah, well, I mean, light is integral to to all living systems um, or most living systems. Actually, there are some very interesting ones that like in the deep sea and things where light doesn't get there. But actually, ultimately, even in those systems, you still need the driving force of light um, to be to be sort of pushing energy through the food chain initially. So I think it's just incredible that the Earth is in exactly the right place in our solar system, that we get exactly the right amount of light, that it doesn't fry us, but it also, um, you know, doesn't make the planet so cold that life can't live here. It's just, it's perfect. It's, it's the exact right amount um, to drive um, energy through food chains and to sustain um, living systems. And of course, um, for plants or most plants, um, they need light to grow. Um, light drives photosynthesis. And um, I think it's amazing that you can't you can't actually really see light. And yet it's driving all of these chemical reactions inside plants to make them grow. And then they, of course, provide food for, for animals. Um, so that's pretty cool for me. Yeah. Mm. And from an atmospheric scientist perspective, um, I would say that actually, if we didn't have the sun's light, we wouldn't have any winds and we wouldn't have any weather. So the sun heats the equator more than it heats the poles. And that means that the equator is warmer than the polar regions. And so what the air wants to do is it wants to move from the hot to the cold. And so that generates air currents, which generates winds. And that's the reason that, that we have weather and storms and all sorts of things like that. So if we didn't have the sun's light and we didn't have this differential heating, we wouldn't have any weather. So um, the sun's light is absolutely crucial um, for weather and, and for climate. So yeah, um, my field of study wouldn't really exist with, without light. Wow, light is vital, isn't it? Thanks, Abigail and Matt. 